Hi, my name is Megan Chua, Megan Chua, and I'm from the class of 2018. Well, when I was younger, um, dance was uh, an activity that I did in my free time because my parents signed me up for ballet class, just like all Asian parents do for their kids. Then I stopped because I found ballet not fulfilling anymore in the sense that it was very stifling. I went to watch the Netherlands Dance Theatre and that concert was so good that when I was watching it I felt like I had to dance again. Dance requires you to be very in touch with your inner self and with your what, we, what I call the child body, the body that you have before you're educated out of creativity from it. Because our choreography at the end of the semester is a choreography on why we dance and who we want to be and these questions are not easy questions to answer and to dance it it's even it's even more difficult oh god <laughs> who i want to be i think what i aspire to be at least is a superwoman and what i mean by superwoman is a woman who is good at everything she does you know like if she's if she's good in sports she's good in academics i want to be that kind of person who goes like I let other people look at it and be like, oh, I wonder how she does it. In the, in the beginning, I wanted to join a sport that I was, re was really intense and that I could do it on a regular basis because of the very sole reason that I didn't want to get fat. Like, you know, that whole freshman 15 thing was so real for me. Like, I was so scared of getting freshman 15. Previously, before joining triathlon, well, aquathlon, um, I have never ran like 10 kilometers at a go. I have never had to swim like four kilometers in one single training. And so like the first week I went for, for Arcathon training and was doing all this, it was so difficult because my body was trying to get used to it. And the, the muscle aches that I had after that was just crazy. We had training six times a week, so we only had rest on days on Sunday. And you just had to you just had to do it, you know, because you want to be good, you want to be the best. I'm thinking of um, doing an Ironman one day. And Ironman is like, you know, the full thing. It's like 3.8 kilometer swim, 140 kilometer bike, and then you do a marathon at the end of it. For growing up in Singapore, I think I have this tendency, tendency to romanticize and idolize what life would be like outside. I have this thing inside of me that really, really wants to explore outside, and that stems from, you know, having been in Singapore like ever since I was, I was a baby. I think memorable environment that I've lived in was actually um, in a bungalow, in a really, really old bungalow that my parents rented for about three years. And it had a, it had a really big garden. And at the back of the bungalow, there was a fruit tree. And the fruit is like native to Southeast Asia. It's called Chiku. When I was growing up, you know, we didn't have easy link cards. We had to like buy like little cards to put in the machine and then it would come out on the top and then you could go through. And there was no such thing as um, the automated um, car thing. Like, you know, when you go through a barrier in the car park, it scans your card and the money goes up. And it used to be a person sitting there collecting in the money. And there was no Esplanade when I was born. There was no Marina Bay Sands, none of that. And just seeing the country change, like, before your very eyes in just 30 years. If I was going to one wish, I really, really, really wish I could be a guy just for, like, one week. Because, like, my aunt always told me, oh, men have two brains, one up here and one down there. What happens when it... When you're horny, like when you get erected, how does it feel? How does it affect the way you, you think? If I was a guy for a week, I would, I would understand a lot more <laughs> than I do now.